The Korea Times is the oldest of three English-language newspapers published daily in South Korea. It is a sister paper of the Hankook Ilbo, a major Korean language daily. It is not to be confused with the Korean language newspaper of the same name based in Los Angeles, USA catering to the Korean American community. Two previous newspapers bore the name The Korea Times. Former President Kim Dae-young famously taught himself English by reading The Korea Times. The president publisher of The Korea Times is Lee byung eon Topic: Founding The Korea Times was founded by Helen Kim five months into the 1950–53 Korean War. The first issue on November 1 was a two-page tabloid. It was printed six days a week, skipping Mondays, and cost 100 won. Kim set out to start the paper in 1949 when she became president of EWHA Women's University, and the initial editorial team came from IWA's English literature professors. The paper maintained close relations with the Syngman Rhee administration, but began to criticize the president due to his interference in its publication. On April 23, 1954, the paper was acquired by Chong Ki Young, then president of the Chosen Ilbo and later founder of the Hankook Ilbo. <laughs> Notable columns In 1968, the Thoughts of the Times. Column debuted, providing column space for members of the community. The first column was by Helen Kim. Over the years, the column has produced highly controversial articles. The column, Scouting the City, ran from 1964 to December 1974, covering numerous controversial topics and criticizing others, including the United States Forces Korea. Under the penname Alf Rackets, the column was really by newspaper staffer James Wade. Notable columnists include Donald Kirk, Michael Breen, and Emmanuel Paystrike. Topic: Controversy. Twice in history, Korea Times managing editors have been detained over the Thoughts of the Times column. Managing editor Henry Chong published Definition of a Gambler under a penname on July 30, 1958, leading to his imprisonment for 16 days under sedition charges. On June 11, 1973, Bernard Weidman wrote a satirical article in response to a Time article on Japanese tourists and kissing. He put forth outrageous proposals governing the control of women. In response, Oriana West, an American housewife living in Seoul, wrote a response piece calling for the subjugation and exploitation of Korean boys. In response, local newspapers reprinted translations of the satirical articles, criticizing the foreigners. Managing editor Chong Soon Il was taken to the intelligence authorities in response. Columnist Michael Breen contributed a satirical column lampooning various South Korean public figures, including President Lee Myung Bak, singer Rain, and Samsung. Displeased with Breen's allusions to their corruption and arrogance, Samsung filed civil and criminal suits against him and the paper for libel. After an apology and after Breen told prosecutors during interrogation that the column was his own idea, the paper was dropped as a respondent, but the suit against Breen himself remained. One South Korean media outlet claimed that the entire column is an insult to the country of South Korea itself. Samsung dropped the civil suit after an apology by Breen. The criminal case went to trial but was thrown out by the judge on the grounds that there was no victim. On September 11, 2015, the Thoughts of the Times column published an article titled, Why Won't You Sit Next to Me on the Subway? The article was quickly uncovered as a practical joke. Chief editorial writer Oh Young Jin apologized to readers, threatening law enforcement involvement in future cases, and pledging to keep the paper's open door policy, inviting readers, professional or untrained, to contribute. On June 2, 2017, managing editor Oh Young Jin published a contentious article titled, Holocaust vs. Comfort Women. On June 5, he published a selection of reader feedback, including one Holocaust denier. On June 14, he published a letter titled, Holocaust happened. The Korea Times has been criticized for republishing tabloid news, especially on cryptozoology and UFO sightings. It has reposted articles from Weekly World News and The Onion, including a widely spread article naming Kim Jong-un, the Onion's sexiest man alive, 
for 2012. Topic: Modern Korean Literature Translation Awards. The Korea Times established the Modern Korean Literature Translation Awards on its 20th anniversary in 1970, to lay the groundwork for promotion of Korean literature internationally and ultimately to produce a Nobel Literature Laureate from Korea. Other publications The Korea Times published the Seoul Olympian in 1988, the official newspaper of the 1988 Summer Olympics. See also Communications in South Korea List of Korea-related topics List of newspapers <laughs>